Did you know that about 45 million Americans go on a diet each year, yet 70% of adults are still overweight or obese? It's a staggering fact that highlights a disheartening disconnect. Millions are striving to shed pounds, yet the scales don't seem to budge for the majority. Unstructured efforts and lack of a clear plan might be the culprits, but fear not, we are here to change the game with a 20-day weight loss challenge. Welcome to the 20-Day Weight Loss Challenge, a structured, simple, and effective way to shed those extra pounds. This is not your typical crash diet or a quick fix. This is a comprehensive plan designed to help you make sustainable changes in your life. Over the next 20 days, you'll be introduced to a series of challenges, each one carefully crafted to help you step out of your comfort zone and into a healthier lifestyle. We'll be focusing not just on what you eat, but also on how you move, how you think, and how you feel. It's about more than just losing weight. It's about gaining health, confidence, and a renewed sense of self. And the best part? It's simple, it's doable, and it's effective. So, are you ready to embark on this transformative journey? Let's dive right in. Week one of the challenge is all about setting the groundwork for your weight loss journey. This is where we lay the stones that will pave the way to a lighter, healthier you. It's a time of preparation, of setting intentions, and of beginning to make those small but impactful changes. So let's delve into the key aspects of this first week. First and foremost, setting realistic goals. This isn't about losing 20 pounds in a week, it's about setting achievable targets that will spur you on and keep you motivated. Think about what you want to achieve at the end of these 20 days and break it down into smaller weekly goals. Every pound lost, every healthy meal eaten, every workout completed is a victory. Next, start a food diary. It's easy to underestimate what we eat in a day. A nibble here, a snack there, it all adds up. By keeping a food diary, you'll begin to see patterns and identify areas where you can make healthier choices. This isn't about depriving yourself, it's about becoming more mindful of what you're putting into your body. Increasing your water intake is another crucial step in week one. Water aids digestion, keeps your skin glowing, and can help curb those pesky hunger pangs. So, fill up that water bottle and keep it by your side throughout the day. Finally, introducing moderate exercise. This isn't about running a marathon on day one. It's about moving more, getting your heart rate up, and building strength and endurance. Start with a brisk walk or a gentle yoga session and build from there. Remember, this first week is about setting a strong foundation for the rest of the challenge. It's about making changes that are sustainable and achievable. It's about taking that first step towards a lighter, healthier you. And remember, every journey begins with a single step, and you've just taken yours. Week two is where we start to ramp up the intensity and really get things moving. Let's dive in and see what this week has in store for us. This week, we're going to be focusing on three key aspects. Increasing our exercise intensity, honing in on our nutrition, and managing our stress levels. Each of these elements is crucial in our journey toward a lighter you. It's important to remember that this is not simply about losing weight, but about becoming healthier and more energetic. Firstly, we're going to kick things up a notch with our exercise routine. If you've been walking, it's time to consider jogging. If you've been jogging, perhaps it's time to incorporate some short sprints. Remember, it's about pushing your limits, but within safe boundaries. Secondly, we're going to zoom in on nutrition. While exercise is key, we can't outrun a bad diet. It's time to really consider what we're fueling our bodies with. Are we eating enough fruits and vegetables? Are we getting our required intake of protein? Let's work on creating balanced meals that not only taste good, but also fuel our bodies for the increased exercise we're doing. Lastly, we're going to talk about stress. Stress can be a major hurdle in any weight loss journey. Whether it's work, family, or just life in general, Stress can lead to unhealthy eating habits and can even disrupt our sleep patterns. This week, we're going to focus on stress management techniques. This could be through meditation, yoga, or even just taking a few minutes each day to breathe and relax. Week two is about stepping up and making those necessary changes. It's about pushing ourselves a little further, eating a little healthier, and taking a little time each day to manage our stress. It's going to be a challenge, but remember, Nothing worth having comes easy. By the end of week two, you'll start to see and feel the difference. Your clothes may fit a little looser, you might find yourself feeling more energetic, and you'll likely find yourself feeling more positive and motivated. Keep going, you're doing great. 
Week three is about staying the course and keeping up the momentum. This is the week where the rubber meets the road, where your commitment is truly tested, but it's also the week where you'll start to see some real tangible results. So what's on the agenda for week three? First, maintaining your exercise and nutrition routines. It's easy to start with a burst of energy and then fizzle out. This week, we're focusing on consistency. Keep up with the workout, stick to your meal plans. Remember, it's not about being perfect, it's about being persistent. Next, we're going to introduce new healthy habits. Maybe that's drinking more water, or perhaps it's taking a few minutes each day for mindfulness and meditation. These habits might seem small, but they can make a big difference in your overall health and well-being. But there's one more essential element to week three. And that's keeping a positive mindset. Weight loss isn't just a physical journey, it's a mental one too. So let's work on cultivating optimism and resilience this week. Let's celebrate every bit of progress, no matter how small. Let's remind ourselves of why we started this journey in the first place. And let's remember that we are capable, we are strong, and we are worth this effort. Week three might be challenging, but remember it's just a stepping stone on your path to a lighter you. Every day, every workout, every healthy meal is a victory, and each victory brings you one step closer to your goals. So let's lean into the challenge, let's embrace the journey, and let's make week three the week where we truly commit to our weight loss goals. Because by the end of week three, you're well on your way to achieving your weight loss goals. This is your journey, your transformation, and you're doing an incredible job. Keep going, keep growing, and keep believing in yourself. You've got this. The final days of the challenge are about solidifying your new habits and preparing for long-term success. This is the point where your determination and consistency truly come to play. You've worked hard for the past two weeks and now it's time to give it one last push. This final phase is about setting long-term goals. Ask yourself, where do you see your health and fitness journey in six months, a year, five years? These are not just idle questions. They are the foundation of your continued success. Visualize your goals, make them clear, and make them ambitious. There's no room for mediocrity in the pursuit of greatness. Now let's talk about motivation. Motivation is the fuel that drives your actions. But it's a tricky thing, isn't it? It's not always there when you need it. So instead of relying on motivation, build discipline. Discipline is what keeps you going even when motivation wanes. Find what works for you, whether it's a motivational quote, a fitness buddy, or the results you see in the mirror. And then, there's the matter of maintaining your weight loss. This is where planning comes into play. Plan your meals, plan your workouts, plan your recovery days. Consider your lifestyle, your preferences, your limitations. Don't let anything catch you off guard. Remember, failing to plan is planning to fail. As you approach the finish line, remember to celebrate your small victories. Every pound lost, every extra rep done, every healthy meal consumed is a victory. Celebrate them because they are a testament to your hard work and dedication. And just like that, you've completed the 20-day weight loss challenge. But remember, this is just the beginning of your weight loss journey. You've ignited the spark. Now it's your responsibility to keep the flame alive. Keep pushing, keep striving, and soon you'll be looking back at this moment proud of how far you've come. Congratulations on your incredible achievement. Congratulations on taking the first step towards a healthier, lighter you. Let's quickly recap. We broke down the 20-day challenge into manageable weeks, each with its unique focus and goals. Remember, this journey doesn't end with the challenge. It's about fostering sustainable habits for lifelong health and wellness. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more health and wellness tips. Here's to a lighter you.